when I seen her again in that elevator standing like it just gave me flashbacks the door of the elevator put her feet up and her back against the other one y'all not going no y'all I lost it sirens y'all we in the hood <laughs> we got planes sirens dogs kids nanas bear with me please this is my like fourth time starting this camera and I'm upset I'm upset because as soon as I start talking kids start yelling sirens start sirening it's driving me crazy but anyways what's up you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel I'm Deja hello you never seen my face before what's good what's Gucci how are you I'm great hope you're doing great too make sure you subscribe because you're gonna love it here okay Okay. I'm gonna just stop chit chatting and hurry up before anything else starts messing up my video. It's story time. Everyone has been asking me to tell like my fighting stories and this and all of that. I'm gonna just tell y'all this story because I've hinted on it in a previous video about the time where I fought this girl in Vegas. This is like the first fighting story time I've ever told on my channel. Anyways, let's just get right into it, okay? A lot happened this day. It had liquor involved, so it was just like all over the place. Anyways, besides the point, I don't know what I'm gonna title this. Probably something like, we almost got banned from Vegas because we really like, what? The strip do not play when you in the hotel. Let me just get into it, okay? So listen, me and like four other homegirls, okay? So we gonna get these homegirls names. Oh my God, we're gonna call her Silly, cause she's silly. It was me, Silly, Silly friend, we're gonna call her Heather. And then my friend, we're gonna call her, oh, Jojo. Y'all know Jojo, Jojo was there. Jojo, cause she don't care if she in the video. Hey, bitch. Start off in the beginning of the day. So we all had went out, I think it was like Silly birthday or like Silly's birthday weekend, something like that. But we had went out to go get brunch um, and bottomless mimosas. As soon as we sit down, mimosa. Chug, 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 cause it's like our little tradition. You chug the first mimosa that they give to you. I be like, hold on, don't go nowhere. <laughs> Run back. I feel like we had a good seven, eight, nine mimosas. Probably 12, 13. <laughs> We had a lot, like we had a lot, so we was already lit, but this was like earlier in the day. I would say we went to brunch around like 11, 12-ish, so that was like, you know, early in the day, we got done with brunch around like two. Silly was talking to this dude that was also in Vegas at this time. He was like, oh, I'm out here with two of his homeboys, or was it three of them? I don't remember. I think it was like two or three of his homeboys, so he was like, yeah, they was interacting with each other, so she was like, oh, she wanna go to the strip to see her little man. So I'm like, all right, bet, let's go to the strip. Mind you, does this man need the name I really 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 don't remember his name but I'm gonna call him Manny is that his name I really don't know and I hope not but I don't think that's his name so we're gonna call him Manny so silly and Manny was messing with each other right so Manny like yeah I'm with my friends like we out here on the strip I'm working right now I'm running plays he was a um, street pharmacist okay so he was like yeah I'm working right now da -da -da -da. we make our way to the strip from Fremont to the Strip, it's a cool like 10, 15 minutes. Me, Silly, Heather, and JoJo get in the Uber and we go to Manny and the homeboys, right? As soon as we pull up, it's Manny, two of his homeboys. So one of the little mans, I remember specifically, he was underage. We gonna call him Youngin, so, cause he coming to play. We have met up with them at a Taco Bell on the Strip. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. The Taco Bell on the Strip, it's like a part where you gotta be 21 cause they serve alcohol. Yes, they serve alcohol in Taco Bell. So we met up with them and he couldn't go inside and he wanted some alcohol. Ooh, am I gonna get in trouble saying anyways besides he was a street pharmacist too, so like he was already doing his big one. He was grown. I think he was like 20. He just wasn't 21 illegal to buy the alcohol, but he was I'm gonna get in trouble. So while we're all sitting down, you know, we got young and you could tell he young too. He's we're sitting at the table outside, drinking our alcohol, eating our Taco Bell. It's people walking past us like this. Youngin, hey, I got that, da 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 da. I got that, such, 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 if you want it. I got that, za. I got that, za. Hey, we want it. I got it. And I'm like, boy, relax. Cause I don't know, like, it is legal in Vegas. They had a lot on them. First of all, this story is all over the place. I'm sorry, keep up. They had on these big ass puffer jackets. It's like a hundred and something degrees in Vegas. Y'all look crazy, but they had it on because in Side of they puffers was a whole bunch of pockets and they had all the flowers. <laughs> Y'all like how I did that? They had all the flowers in the pockets. It was a lot. So while Young get back here trying to talk to people, telling them he got the za, he needs to be careful. And I'm telling him like, bro, relax because it's the police's walking back and forth also. You know, they stay on the strip and the police on the strip do not play. He did not care. He was loud and proud. He got the za. 
feeling myself, right? It's a great time. It's, um, who birthday was it? It's silly birthday or whatever. So we're getting lit. And like, this is not my first time meeting Manny. Um, I've met him before. So yeah, I'm like, friend, you know, that's, that's the homeboy at this point. Dog, I really, really, really fucked with him. Like, he was really cool. Ooh, I can't be cousin. Anyways, sorry, my bad. I really liked him. He was really cool. Manny was like, oh man, I gotta go back to the room because I'm running low on Prada, right? So he was like, okay, cool. I forgot what hotel they were staying at, but it was one far on the strip, like going towards the strap. If you know Vegas, you know. So we walking from like, Taco Bell and the Cosmo down towards the Strat, which is like over oh, here. The walk to the room was a cool 10 minutes, bro. And I just remember like, it's so long. So we're walking, we're talking, chit chatting. Youngin keeps saying, I'm so mad I forgot the quote that he was saying, but he kept saying it to the point that shit started pissing me off. <laughs> like he just kept saying it. I'm just looking at him like, we can tell you young. Like <laughs> you can tell Heather don't really want to be there. <laughs> She was um, Caucasian. She really didn't want to be there, but she was just there because it was her friend's like birthday gathering. Everyone else in the story time is black. She just really didn't want to be there. <laughs> we're like walking, talking, blah, blah. They're still trying to promote their product as we're walking everywhere. They was getting some sales. They was doing what they needed to do and what they came out there for. Not even gonna knock them and hold them. They was promoting the hell out of that Zah, okay? To the point where I don't even do that. And I was like, well, let me see what it's about. Because if y'all saying it's this good, I want to see. <laughs> and we're almost to the hotel and we see this woman and this dog. I think she had like a French bulldog and her boyfriend, right? Silly was like, oh my God, the dog is so cute. So we're sitting here talking to the dog. They smell loud. Like if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. They smell loud. So that was Manny was like, oh, y'all, la, la, la. And they was like, yeah. He was like, well, you know, I got this, huh? Whole store in his, in his puffer. He had like a sample bag that he would let people touch and smell. <laughs> So he showed them the sample bag and they were like, oh yeah, that's good. This man invited these strangers back to the room with us. So he was like, yeah, come to the room. Like y'all vibes is lit. Y'all are cool. La la la. I'm sitting here like, first of all, sir, I'm from LA. I am observant of my surroundings and the people who I interact with. If you give me weird vibes, I think you're going to kill me. So like, mm, distance yourself. I was just so amazed that they invited these random strangers that we met on the strip who was probably head back to the room with us anyways besides the point because they came back with us when we get up to the room manny did have a, a key card to get into the room we got into the room we sitting there chilling right we all sitting on the bed chit chatting chopping it up i really wish i could remember in depth of everything that happened up leading until i almost went to jail but um i really don't remember because it was a lot of alcohol in my system so i'm just trying to run through the run through the story up until the point where it's like escalated very quickly. It went to zero to 10 really, really fast. And I just don't know how. We're all sitting there chopping it up, right? So like I said, it's me, Silly, um, youngin' on one bed. And then you got Heather, Jojo, and the other homeboy across from us. And then Manny over here with the other people by the desk, you know, getting his supplies. They interact and da, da da So we're all sitting back and forth talking to each other, la la la, right? The strangers ended up leaving. They walked out the door. So now we just sitting there chopping it up. They have bottles in their room. So we all just, woohoo, it's silly birthday, get lit, ah, ah, right? All of a sudden, the room door opened. It opened loud and hard. And come, what we gonna call her? Amy, because I just thought of Amy Winehouse and I think she like OD'd or something. I'm not trying to be funny, but like this bitch was awesome. <laughs> now my juice just spilling in the bed, hold on. So, door, whew, we got on the music too. So the door, whoosh, that's all you hear. You just hear like the door slam open and you hear like a lot of ruffling. You know how like when you sleep and people loud in the morning, you just hear ruffling? That's what you heard. So all of our heads like, who is this? In comes this Caucasian lady, Amy. Walk right in. This is what she did. Silly had her phone plugged in into the charger. You know how it's a nightstand in between the beds? She had her phone plugged into Youngin's charger. Keep that in mind. She had her phone plugged into Youngin's charger, which was plugged into like the lamp on the nightstand in between the beds, right? Amy walk in, walk straight to silly phone, undo it, throw the phone. She tossed that bitch, okay? So everybody looked like, who are you? Mind you, youngin' and the other homeboy is on the type of time we on like, who are you? Manny didn't really say nothing. He was just like, oh. So everybody like, who are you? And she's like, this is my shit. 
this my sh but you can tell she off something so we're like what you mean this your sh this her room like maybe i thought this was your sh like who is this who is this girl jojo was telling me after the fact that it was like you know it was like bras and shorts and like stuff in the corner so she was wondering where the girls were girl or girls were because she's seen girls items she told us this after the fact right because jojo be looking she's a little more observant than everybody and then she's like that's my mom charger that's my charger that's my charger and young and like hey bro calm down that's my charger your charger is over there her charger was originally plugged up over there but it wasn't working so we put it over there so she technically wasn't wrong but it's you're wrong that wasn't your charger then she tossed her phone she tossed her phone i'm surprised it didn't break because she whoop, i was like wow so she did that right that was the first like who are you? After that had happened, Youngin checked her real fast. Like he checked her real fast. She was all type of bees and ho and he checked her real fast, real disrespectful. He got real disrespectful. I was like, oh wow, <laughs> relapse, cause that is a woman. Watch how you speaking, but I'm on your side cause she got me up. <laughs> That's happened with that, right? And then she walk over to Manny and I guess he over there trying to tell her to calm down, but we like still in our own little bubble, talking to each other, blah, 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 laughing, chit chatting. Oh, of a sudden you hear commotion from this side of the room commotion so all of our attention goes over here she start trying to fight men right and i think when you off the um <laughs> coca i think when you off the coca you become strong i don't know but she was trying to manhandle this man first of all manny is like he's skinny as hell he probably skinnier than me than what i am now he a cool like six four six five right then you just start seeing swinging the girl is swinging and I'm like, oh, silly, that's your <laughs> What is going on? So he like, you know, grabs her hand and like, hey, calm down. He's the only person that knows who this girl is. So Manny got Amy like this by her bristesses. She like, hey, calm down. Like, you good, bro? Calm down. She like, go outside. Go outside. So she ends up pushing. Come on, man, get your car. Somebody car been going on for the past three days. She's telling him to like, go outside, go outside. Somehow she moves, I mean, ain't no somehow, she bigger than a little man, built wise. She pushed him out that room door. So they outside and you just hear a lot of yelling and screaming and I'm like, this look real bad. You got this tall ass, skinny ass, black man. Although she ain't little and hard, helpless. She's still, you, he's still black and she's still white. Y'all know how that go. In the open hallway of this very nice hotel. When they got cameras, like y'all are causing too much commotion in this five star hotel. We in the room talking blah blah. We're trying to figure out who this girl is amongst the group. And everybody is like, they don't know who she is. And I'm like, where's she come from? Like, first of all, Manny, Youngin, and the other homeboy all came to Vegas together. I don't know if they rode with the girl. I don't know if the girl had friends. I don't know if it was like a group trip. I don't know, but how they presented it to us, well, Youngin and the other homeboy, was they didn't know that girl and she just came out of nowhere. But I'm like, aren't y'all staying in this room too? And obviously she's staying in this room because Jojo said she seen the bras and the panties and stuff. Y'all gotta know this girl, but at the moment in the time, they was telling us they didn't know Amy. I'm over here talking to Silly like, why are you not trying to help? Like, you're not gonna tell him to come back. <laughs> You're not gonna tell him to come back in the room. You're not gonna go see about your mans. You're not gonna see who this girl is, put her hands on your mans. Like, you're not gonna. You're not gonna see who she is, like, because me, that was my man. As soon as she did the first little hook in the room, she would have been knocked the hell out where she stood. Anyways, besides the point, that wasn't my man. I'm just saying, if it was my man, none of that. They wouldn't even got outside to the hallway. So, I'm talking to Silly, like, girl, you're not gonna go, like, what? I hear, out of this ear right here, because I'm sitting like this on the bed, so the door is over here. I hear, ah, oh, she got my, right? <laughs> I'm like, what is going on? So we all run to the door because like it was funny but he was very loud like you could hear the pain in his voice like she had him by the balls literally everybody run towards the door heather <laughs> heather was always in that corner 
She was always in the corner. She had him by the balls, literally. You know, I'm like, y'all, come inside, come inside. So I'm grabbing them into the room, right? At this point, we get her in the room. She's like ruffling through her stuff, blah, 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 telling him, give me my stuff, give me my stuff. And we like, girl, what stuff? I think she was at like a day party because she had on a bathing suit and some shorts. Like, what's, you didn't walk in here with nothing but the key card, sweetheart. What stuff did we have of yours? So then she starts saying that we stealing from her, right? You know, out of all of this, I don't know when JoJo left, but JoJo left. JoJo was gone. And I think she left before, oh, she left before the girl even got into the room because JoJo said when she went into the elevator, she seen the girl walking out and was concerned how intoxicated she was. And JoJo was like, you can tell she was on something. So that's when JoJo left. JoJo left before the girl even walked in the room. Lord Jesus. Like I said, it was just so much going on, okay? But I just remember Heather. Heather didn't get out that chair over there in that corner. She didn't get up not once until, anyway, so. <laughs> The girl, like I said, she was ruffling through her stuff and she like, oh, give me my, give me my, give me my. And we like, girl, what, what, sh what did you have? And I really wasn't trying to say nothing because like I said, I was intoxicated. At this point though, I started sobering up because I'm like, now you trying to say I'm a thief? Never been that, sweetheart. I don't need to steal nothing from you, Amy. Nothing at all. And I don't want nothing from your little crackheaded ass at all. Cause she looked real dirty. You're not even trying to be funny. Like she looked like she, like they just picked her up off the street. Like it was crazy. And I asked her one time, I was like, are you okay? Like you good? You a little too drunk? She's like, I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. I'm like, oh, you high off something. And it wasn't Mara Joanna. While she's like ruffling through her stuff and I'm like, you good bro? I think this is where she got real mad. <laughs> First that we was in her room and then that like we was there with the dude. I think Manny was messing with her to be honest because like I said, she had tossed silly phone off the charger and like flung that shit. So then she's over here ruffling through herself. She walked over cause we had plugged silly phone back up. She walked over, unplugged silly phone and chucked it again. And I said, oh Lord, you're about to make this girl upset. That's the second time. The first time we let it slide cause we were in shock and disbelief that a stranger just walked into this room. So when she did that and plugged her phone, silly unplugged that girl phone and whoop. I said, oh my God, Lord. Phones went to flying. I don't even think the girl ever got her phone back. Besides the point, phones went to flying. So that's when she got it. She never got into me and silly face though. She never did, or Heather. Like I said, Heather was in that corner, in the room, in that chair the whole time, bro. She did not want no type of smoke. That girl was in that corner the whole time. Amy never once got into me and Heather face. I mean, Heather, silly. She never once got into me and silly face, right? But what she did do is get into young and face like, don't throw my shit, that's my shit. girl relax <laughs> i'm not going nowhere <laughs> she was just very loud and obnoxious and very like high like she was on a coca for sure like ah oh, or something worse <laughs> But she was on something above the product they were selling. She's over here all in Young and Face. That's when Youngin stood up. And I was a little concerned for her at that point because like I said, Manny never laid his hands on this girl, although she was swinging. When Youngin set up on, because he was laying on his stomach, so he sat on his knees like this, okay? To get like eye level to the girl. When he stood up, I like pulled him down because how he was disrespectful to her when she first walked into that room. I I knew he didn't care. I knew he was gonna swing. So I was like, yeah, no, we're not doing that. I was like, hey bro, like sit down, calm down. Like just don't say nothing to this girl. Cause obviously we all can see she owns something. Like don't say nothing to this girl. And he did not care. Like he was gonna knock her life smooth the fuck out, okay? Her focus goes back to Manny. I really don't remember what they over there yelling about, blah, blah, blah. But somehow, some way, they end back up outside. So like I said, now who in the room? Me, youngin, silly, Heather, still in that corner, and the other homeboy. They just making jokes, you know how dudes is. They just making jokes back and forth while they still outside yelling. So now I'm kind of getting upset because I'm like, I don't need none of the security guard coming up to this room. I don't need no type of commotion. I don't know what who this girl is. I don't know what she's done before this. I don't know what kind of, I just don't want no police to come to the room. I don't wanna go to jail. So I'm like, I'm about to go get her and pull her back in this room. I I walk to the door. This is where all hell broke loose. <laughs> all hell broke loose. I walk to the door and I'm like, come on, like come inside, come inside. Mind you though, 
I walked out there with my purse, put everything down to grab them, to pull them in, right? Going, going, like y'all doing too much, going, going. He walks in the door, she walks towards the door. Like I said, I had put my stuff down and I had to walk down a, a little ways to get them to come inside the room. So she turns and walks towards the door. I bend down to grab my stuff, okay? Grab my stuff, I start walking towards the door too. Manny walks in, Amy walks in, the door slowly closing. I try to open the door to walk in. This whore. Oh, I don't know if I can say that. She grabs me. <laughs> when I tell you all the alcohol left my body, y'all, it left. It left because I was in disbelief. I was distraught. She grabbed my throat and pushed me out of that door, y'all. When I tell you, when she pushed me back by the throat, she pushed me back like this out the room. That door closed in my face and I sat there for 0.2 seconds because I had to take in what just happened and regroup. And this whole time, I could have hit this girl in that room. I could have hit her, could have hit her, could have hit her. I didn't want to. That door closed in my face. So I did one of these. I know this vision. I grabbed me by my throat. <laughs> Y'all, I put everything, I just dropped everything right outside the door. I knocked on the door and what blew my mind, but now I know after the fact that she didn't open the door. <laughs> it blew my mind because when I knocked on the door, I thought she opened it because when the door opened, she was standing right there. So I'm like, you a dumb broad. Why would you, you know like you just did that and you, anyway, I knocked. The door opens, is she right there? Hey, I didn't say that. Whoop, as soon as she opened the door, whoop. Okay, I wasn't doing no talking. First of all, that's one thing about me. I don't argue. I'm not arguing with nobody. I'm not finna, why are you Oh, naked? No, I will slap you. Like people think I'm, I be playing when I be like, girl, I will slap you. Like that's not, I'm not the one, but I'm really not the one. So when she opened that door, I, whoop, that's all you see. And then, you know, like it just, it just, that, that's what it happened, right? It's like a little hallway before you get to the room. Like the bed areas, cause it's a hallway, it's the, the bathroom, right? You know how hotels are set up. Hallway, bathroom, then you get into like the room area. I whooped her ass from that door to the room, to the beds, to the middle of the beds, first of all. Mind you, this whole time I had on this dress, ass out. While I'm like whooping her ass, I'm trying to like pull down my pants too because I hear world star, who still says that? Young and gay, and I was like, oh my ass not finna be on nobody cameras. <laughs> so I'm trying to pull my dress down. Whoop, whoop, whoop. She on the floor, I'm above her, doing one of these. Doing one of those, doing my big one. I'm doing my big one. And in my head, I'm like, oh no. How hard are you hitting this girl? Because like I said, although mentally the, the alcohol left my brain, I sobered real fast. I'm still intoxicated, okay? Like, let's be for real. I'm so lit. So I'm like, oh, how hard am I hitting this girl? I have a lot of anger built up inside of me at this point in my life. How hard am I hitting this girl? Because she's not swinging back. She tried a couple times, but like, girl, one of these was not gonna work. <laughs> was not working with me. Then I hear, silly. I heard her and seen her at the same time. She went from that bed to on top of this thing so fast. I'm not for jumping people and I would not do that. I would not like jump in. I can't control what she did. When she did jump in and when it gave her her little one, two, three, I backed up because like I said in my mind, I was like, well, I don't know how hard I'm hitting this girl and I don't want to her. Because like I said, I have a lot of anger built up inside of me and I'm already strong. <laughs> I already hit hard. I don't know how hard I'm actually hitting her. So when I see Silly jump in, I kind of just back up. Amy tries to stand up and Silly becomes the incredible hawk. Like this shit blew my mind. Like I said, she's bigger than both of us, like built wise. Like, I don't know if she worked out or if she just took too much coca in her life, but she was like, sturdy and stocky like a truck. Um, she stood up. <laughs> well, she tried to stand up. She tried to stand up and she like did one of these as she was coming up and I guess it hit Silly. Clocked her one good time. Silly becomes the hook. Okay, I literally seen this girl turn green. She grabbed Amy like this. First of all, she didn't do this. I'm lying because the girl had on a bathing suit top. She did one of these. Okay, she grabbed this girl and whoop, 
and all you hear is like <gasps> like you know how like when you hit the floor really hard and you lose the air out of your body that's what happened body slammed her the girl said <gasps> i said oh my god you killed this girl you killed this girl like girl i like grabbed silly she was in the position but i like grabbed her back because the girl on the floor like gasping for air <laughs> i'm like <laughs> this is not what we signed up for today, okay? So I like grab Silly like like okay, we we got her. We got her cuz she's not fighting back. We got her. Relax. We don't want to <laughs> the girl in this room. I don't want to go to jail. I am too cute for jail. Whole time all the homeboys and the niggas in there is just recording. Heather still in the corner. Heather is still in the corner, y'all. I forgot the girl was there until we walked out the room. While we over there doing everything, the girl gasping for air. Niggas is recording world star. Somehow, some way, I think it was Manny, had the opportunity to go into this girl's belongings. He found her phone, he had the other key card, and he was like, let's go. We walking, head into the elevator, right? She come running out the door, y'all. Running out the door. Give me my stuff! You're stealing my wallet! Give me my phone! And he like, I ain't got shit. I ain't got yelling so loud oh my god now i'm irritated even more because now you're causing more of a scene like i said they got cameras in here you're causing a scene this is the third time you've been out in the hallway yelling go to your room miss we all inside the elevator at this point she's in the elevator like this so don't close screaming and hollering give me my stuff you stole my stuff at this point nobody knew anybody took anything right i'm highly upset Cause I'm still on the fact you you put your hand around my neck and shoved me out that door like that. Like when I seen her again in that elevator standing like it just gave me flashbacks. And then she sat down in between the door of the elevator, put her feet up and her back against the other one. Y'all not going no y'all. I lost it. I'm sorry, I don't recommend. But what I did to get her ass out that door, I cocked back, boom, kicked her ass hard. I kicked her hard. Kicked her hard. She poof. Flew out the door and then the elevator door closed. Ding! And that's all we heard from Amy. That is all she wrote that day. We rolled down in the elevator. They like, oh, you want to see the video? I'm like, oh my God, y'all are so annoying. Then that's when Young and tell me like, I opened the door. She wasn't going to do you like that, Dej. She wasn't going to do you like that, Dej. And I'm like, yeah, I thought she opened the door. I thought she was just that dumb. We got down back onto the strip. They went to go do their little, they little selling still. We just kiki and ha ha and about how crazy that was and we're all trying to figure out who the girl is manny's still not trying to tell us that's his girl they actually ended up coming back home with us because they had nowhere to go because they wasn't gonna go back up to the room because i guess it was her room so they ended up coming back to my house everyone went back to my house we played more drinking games got more of that into our system like i said it was silly's birthday weekend we were getting lit besides the little interaction we had you know that didn't stop the show Okay, the show must go on. So yeah, that's what happened. I for sure thought I was gonna go to jail that day on the strip because how loud they were screaming in the hallway. I'm really surprised nobody opened their door to see what was going on because they were loud. And you heard a lot of boo, 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 boo. I don't know if Manny was hitting that girl in that hallway. He said he didn't, but I don't really know. It was a lot of boo, 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 boo. But I think she was just beating his ass, honestly. That pretty much concludes the story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you made it this far and you're not yet subscribed, what? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. They are down below. TikTok, Deja.Lay. I love you guys. Bye.